In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Light is literally life. The, uh, the food chain that we're at the top of starts with the photosynthesis in plants where they use sunlight and water and the minerals in the water to produce the growth of the plant so that there's something for animals to eat and other animals eat those animals, and we eat both those plants and those other animals, and thus we live. When Paul wrote to the Ephesians and said, you were darkness and now are light, he was literally saying to them, you were dead, and now you're alive because of Christ. we actually only see light. We don't see each other. When I look at you, I see the light reflected off of your body and your clothing, not actually the clothing. It's a technical thing, but it's important. And we all see life, light a little differently. Some of us are uh, colorblind, and we only see certain colors. Some of us uh, require corrective lenses in order that we can see. Uh, as we get older, most of us require those. Our brain also interprets what we see. When I see my dog, who is about yay tall and is part German Shepherd, part Husky, and looks German Shepherd, I see a friendly, protective, loyal animal. Somebody else might see a threat. And if you're a little bit hostile to me, Ed, there, you're correct in seeing a threat. <laughs> when I look at Diana, I see something entirely different than you see, because I see her in the light of 64 years that we have spent together. You don't do that. You see her in the light of a, a few months, a few years, uh, spending much less time with her. So you see something entirely different. Our brain interprets those things we see and it interprets them differently depending on our history. Sometimes it forces us into denying what we see. For instance, the Pharisees believed that you couldn't do anything but a prescribed list of things on Sunday. Essentially, eat, wash your hands a little bit, walk a short distance to the synagogue and how far you could walk was defined, pray, and you couldn't do anything else because Jesus healed a man on the synagogue. They couldn't believe that he was from God because it contradicted their cherished beliefs about what you do. We still do that today. We still uh, will deny things that our very eyes can see. Uh, when we're overweight, when we're obese, we say, uh, I'm not really that fat, I'm just big boned. <laughs> or a racist looking at our society and the, race, the systemic racism in, in it says, nah, there's not really any systemic racism there. We literally can't see the things that our mind tells us are not there. In the light of Christ, we can see things as they really are. And we see things differently and our brain interprets them differently if we're living in Christ. We, uh, we see somebody that everybody else sees as a jerk and we know they behave like a jerk, but we also know that they're a true child of God. 
beloved of God just as we are. It is important that we look at things in the light of Christ. You know how at Christmas time, some of the houses have lights on them and some of them will have a single light with a uh, colored wheel that has different colors on it and the, the color of the house will change from green to red to yellow. You seen those? Well, when we look at people in the light of Christ, we see their true colors. And it is important to us that we do that. It might make a difference in their lives, but it makes an enormous difference in our lives. It enables us to live in God's kingdom here and now, instead of uh, the kingdom outside of God's law and God's love. So let's remember to do that. Amen.